It is where you are and welcome to stretch. We're gonna do uh, a stretch that takes us from lying down to getting up and moving. So there's gonna be some slow, considerable stretches at the beginning that open you up. And at the end, we're gonna be moving a little bit and getting our joints open and our muscles and our joints working together. So we're gonna start by laying down. So what I'd like you to do is take yourself down to your mat. I'm gonna do diagonal so you can see more of the movements. And when we lie down, of course, we lift our glutes up, take them down there, wiggle our upper body up. Good, you wanna put your hands at your side with the palms toward the ceiling. Nod your chin down and as much as you can, pull the belly buttons to the spine. We don't wanna demand too much out of the body when it's kind of sleepy. So this is a, a good stretch for when you are just getting up. Take one leg out into the other leg in, first at 90 degrees, and just hold it right there. When you grab your leg, you wanna make sure your shoulder blades are down. So from here, we're gonna take a big inhale and exhale and move it in toward our chest. So if this has any repercussions on your back, if you feel too much arch, curl yourself up and look through your thigh, right right there, right? Now pushes your back into the ground. So that makes the back more amenable to the stretch. So let's just pull that in. Big inhale and exhale, pull. Good, big inhale and exhale, pull. Drop the shoulders, make sure you're not scratching them up as you do this. Big inhale and exhale, nice. You're just gonna hold it right there. I want you to take three long breaths. And another one. Now put your hand inside your thigh and take it out to the side as far as it'll go without disrupting this anchor of your, uh, your uh, glutes across the mat. So in the middle of the thigh is where your hand goes and you're gonna push it down, relax that foot. From there, we're gonna put the hand under the thigh and pull it toward the shoulder as it's, pull, as it's out to the side. You can put this arm out to create some extension and just breathe three times. Now you're gonna bring it back to center right at 90 degrees and we're gonna circle eight times to the outside. Make sure you use your breath. You can bring your hands back into that palms to the ceiling feeling. Four more and three more. Make them big, two more, not too fast, and one. Now you're gonna take it the other way, one, Pull the belly in as it comes across. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it to the center. Extend them up straight up, not toward you on that lean. We're going to take it straight up. We're going to, to um, put the hand from the other side on the outside. Bring it around, rotating your hip to the ceiling, keeping your shoulders on the floor. Now, you may not get your usual um extension here because your legs are your body's just warming up so it's okay just go as far as you can this is our first attempt at this now bend the knee putting the hand under the thigh and let the foot go as close to the floor as possible good keep that shoulder down on the other side the hand is extended nice eyes toward the ceiling I think once you're in here, you don't need to look at the screen. Now put your hand on the top of the thigh and push it down. Now, three breaths. Nice. Bring the knee back to center. Scoot the other leg in and take that leg up. Put both our hands behind the upper thigh. Rotate the ankle one direction and rotate it in the other. Now we're gonna take it down toward our face. One arm this time, big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. And big inhale and exhale lower. And we're just going to hold it. This isn't gonna be a super long hold like we're finishing class. It's just getting things into engagement. But you wanna keep your leg as long as you can. You can see that's not in a point or a flex, but it's in a neutral position. Good. Breathe into it. Find that long belly. You're going to release that leg all the way to the floor. You can feel that it's extended through the front of the groin and bring the other one in. First, we start at 90 degrees. Then we take that, pull it in on that big inhale, exhale, 
and we give it three big breaths. Nice. Put your hand inside the thigh and take it out to the side. Don't let your other side of your body lift up. Good. And three big breaths. So when you're breathing, you really want to add a little more pressure to create that opening in the groin. But again, no tipping, even a, even a smidgen. Okay, hand under the thigh, bring it toward your shoulder. Good job. Now we bring it back to center, rotating eight times to the outside. Three, breathing. As you do this, four, you can bring your hand back in. Five, good. Six, try to keep your ankle aligned with your whole leg and your foot and reverse. One, two, get it open wide. Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take your hand on that thigh. Take it across. Oh, sorry. Leg up first. Sorry about that. Now take it across and as far as you can go. Big inhale and exhale. You're in the middle of that thigh. Good. And now bend the knee, bring it back in, and then take the hand, both hands underneath. Take it all the way up. Release one arm. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it right there. Nice. We're going to lower that leg down to the mat. We're going to bring the other one into the knee toward the ceiling. And we're coming on over to our back, our stomach. <clears throat> okay. Slide those feet into uh tight position you're going to slide them into a tight position you're going to lower your face to the floor pull your belly button to your spine put your hands under your shoulders take a big inhale and exhale and push into those hands and bring it up it emanates from the belly so your legs are hugging the floor nice Drop the shoulder blades and separate them. So you're not pushing your shoulders together. You're separating those shoulders, okay? And hold it right there. Breathe into it. Now I want you to come down in a count of eight. So big inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four. Feel the chest opening, three, two, and one. Reach the arm out into a, a Y. Take three breaths. Bring them back in. And let's do that one more time. Make sure your elbows are by your uh, waist. Let's go. Big inhale and exhale. Bring it up. Now you don't arch back. You take it long to the ceiling. Breathe into it. Now we're going to take it down for eight. Inhale. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and release. Okay, you're going to take one leg behind you, rotate your body toward that leg, grab your um, ankle if you can, reach the other arm out in front of you, face is down, and you're going to pull that. Now, if this hurts your knee, don't do it. Just just uh, give it a 90 degree stretch. Pull it toward your thigh or your glute. Nice. And hold it right there. Breathe into it. Release. Slide the other arm forward. Bring the other arm back. Come around to grab your um, ankle if you can. Straighten that other leg out. Eyes are down. Let's go. Nice job. And release it down. Nice. Then I want you to stretch both arms out into that Y. Put your 
toes into the floor and just feel the stretch of the hamstrings in the opposite direction of that stretch. Nice. Slide the hands under your shoulders, push your upper body up and just hold it there, keeping the feet braced into the floor, flexed into the floor. Nice. We're gonna take our knees into the floor and bring ourselves around into a sit. Okay, so on our sit bones, right? We're on our sit bones. So if that means you're bending the knee a little bit to get on your sit bones, that's gonna be okay because we're moving from the anchor. So what we're gonna do first, right, is take our arms out to the side, flex the long foot, the other one soft inside the thigh, the head is over the tailbone and you're going side to side. Now I'm taking this really slowly because we usually do this with a lot of dynamic. Here's set number four, we're going for eight. We got four more, good. Keep your head over your tailbone, that's hard to do. Last two, pull the belly button to the spine and last one. Now holding the airplane right here, we're gonna take both arms to the ceiling, palms facing each other, nice, and reach up, reaching. Pull up out of it. You want to feel it through the lats and the serratus interior. Bring it to cactus. It opens everything up in front. You want to feel like your chest is lifting toward the ceiling and then down to the waist. And then that creates that sculpting position, right? So let's do it again. Airplane to I. Reach up to cactus. Nice. Stay lifted to waist. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do that again, but we're going to turn toward the leg. So we're going to take it I, right? To um, cactus, to waist. And one more time, we're going to stop at cactus. So take it out. Then up to I and stop at cactus. Hold it right there. Now I want you to rotate just a little bit more to the side. Can you take your chest as far to the side as possible? Don't flex your wrists back or forth. They need to be long, right? And hold it right there. Nice twist. Bring it back to the leg. Release your arms down and then slowly float down to that thigh. You want to keep your body even while you do this so your elbows are reaching toward the floor. Good. Good. And hold it right there, looking down. Beautiful. Now sliding back up, we're going to take one arm over the ear, the other arm behind us, behind the glute, and we're lifting the entire body up into a stretch. Reach, 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 reach. Try not to put weight on the standing arm. That's for um, balance. You're just pushing through the belly. And then big inhale. Now you're going to come to the side, down, and hold that stretch. Make sure that you're over your tailbone. It's very easy to curl forward right here. Hold that stretch. Nice. Now, I want you to take a big inhale, pulling it back, and exhale, just taking as far as you can go, keeping that other glute on the floor. Beautiful. Both arms are out and lifted. You bring them back right here, take them back out to airplane, and switch legs. Now we need to do all of that on the other side. So lift up, start with the eye, to cactus. This is called a W, by the way. It's a W. Good. Inhale it out. Exhale it. I. To cactus. To W. And then we're going to rotate on the next one. So take it out to airplane or T. And lift up out of it. Good. To I. Nice to cactus, lift to W. And again, we're gonna stop on cactus on the next one. Take it out to T, take it to I, 
Lift up, don't drop back to cactus and hold it right there and hold that stretch. Beautiful, nice. We are amazing, let's take it down. Try to keep those arms parallel. Drop your shoulder blades, please. Now you may go different extensions on each side. Congratulations to being normal. Good, and hold it right there. Feeling that extension through my back. Feels amazing. Curl it up. Now, one arm up, one arm behind us, and we lift. Beautiful, nice job. Super special, getting everything. Inhale and exhale down and over to that side bend. Draw the arm back and take it just a little bit more. Nice. Beautiful. Bring yourself back up and let's take the legs into our straddle. Now the same thing needs to happen. You need to be on those sit bones no matter how much you need to bend your legs a little bit. And don't take them as far if you can't get onto your sit bones. All right, boo boo, I need you to move. Um, let's take our arms out to the side again. And we're gonna go over to one leg. Just, just hold the, the shin or the ankle and airplane right up and look forward. <laughs> go lie down. Hold it right up and they don't need your butt. Go lie down. Good. I want the arm long. Usually we have the arm soft. Today we're just doing a different emphasis, right? So when the arm is long, we feel more across the top of the shoulders. When the arm is soft, we get to take our body down just a little bit more into the hip stretch. So right now we're working across the shoulders and hold it right there. Now bend the elbow, that changes the trajectory. Take the arm over the ear and just reach to the tops of the toes. No matter if you're here, I just want you to visualize reaching to the tops of the toes. And nice. And breathe into it. And now rotate and bring it down. Soft elbows, right? Good. Slide up and back out to T. Again, we do that diagonal right here, that big diagonal line. Just lifting now. Again, slight, slight tilt forward is easy to do. So make sure your head is over your tailbone, right? Breathe into it. Get that, get that reach. Beautiful. Bend the elbow and reach to the tops of your toes. Bring the other arm down and reach across. And then we're going to slide it right here to the center. Good. And hold it right there. Nice stretch. Looking down, not under. Soft elbows. You want to feel it long through your back, right? Now we're going to do some sweeps. So take your arms to the front. Now when you sweep to one side, you take the arm over the top. Good. And then you take that top arm over to the bottom and the other one comes on top. And then you sweep forward. Then when you go the other way, same thing, and bring it around and sweep forward. So we're trying to put some activity in here. Back, like I said, we're gonna gradually wake our bodies up. Now, when you come up from the sweep, you're, it's likely that you'll go past your sit bones. So I want you to be really conscious here of staying on your sit bones, staying on your sit bones, and then bringing it around. Good, take it up. Good, take it across and take it down, take it back, take it up, and take it down. Now hold it right here, elbows to the floor. Good. Drop those shoulder blades, please. Now long arms, hold that position, breathe into it, and walk those arms back. Nice. We're going to bring those legs together and just give them a little bit of a shake. We're not done here. We're taking a big number four right here, or a tree pose. We call this a tree pose. 
seated tree pose, right? Get your head over your tailbone. Again, it's so easy. Your body wants to close down because it wants to relax, right? And you're doing such wonderful things for it right now. So hands at your side, roll your shoulders back without letting your fingers touch the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Forward. One, two, three. Little flex in the foot. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn toward the short side. Right here toward the short side. Now, I'm going to ask you to take your arms overhead, curl up under your rib cage, pull that belly up, bring those arms down, walk it out as if you're doing child pose across this thigh. As low as you can go without losing connection with the floor. Good. It's not going to be far. What is it for me? It might be for you. Good. Breathe into it. Now we're going to work some angles. So now you're going to walk over to that hip. Now you're going to feel that big, deep stretch of the hip from the other side. Keep those elbows bent. And then take the back arm and try to lower it as much as possible. All right. Got that? Now walk it back across the knee. Lower down. Good. Curl yourself up. Come over to the other leg, take your uh, ankle or your thigh, bend your knee to your elbow, and then bend your leg to the ceiling, lift yourself up. Good, and hold it right there. Now from here, we're gonna bend it, release it. I need to move Brewster, and then circle. Thank you, Brewster. Three, four, five, six, Seven and eight, reverse. One, try to keep the knee to the ceiling. Three, four, you feel that? Should be deep. Five, six, seven, and eight. Flex it to the floor, take it out to the side. That's just a counter stretch. Come on down. Good. Curl yourself up, bring the leg back to center, and we switch sides. It's tree on the other side, slight flex here. Nice, good, take yourself, lift, 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 lift yourself. Let's turn toward that knee. And again, one knee may be really super flat to the floor, another one might be right up here by your waist. It's all structure. All right, bring it down. Like you're going to do child pose. Take a nice deep breath right here, lower and lower, bending those elbows, lower and lower. Breathe into it. Now you're gonna walk it past over to that hip and bring it down. Breathe into it. Now, keeping the front arm where it is, you're gonna reach that back arm and you're gonna be a little bit turned, but that's okay. Turning, our body isn't a grip, so turning it's a good idea. Good. Now walk it back to center, bring yourself up, and we're going down. Go down, good. Just reach forward. Curl yourself up and bring the knee in and then take, all right, again, try not to drop back. Again, you might have a very different kind of extension here. All right, lower that leg and circle. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's put both feet on the floor. Tighten those hips, legs toward each other. Turn and turn and turn. Opening everything up. Good job. Eight more. Eight seven, six, keep them tight, five, we're going after the hips, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring yourself around to tabletop. I'm sure you knew this was coming, right? Tabletop's always coming, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, 
We are happy in tabletop. First thing we're going to do is rotate our glutes around eight in one direction, two, really big ones, three, feel the push, four, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to do a big inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. Bottom and chin up, <clears throat> curl up like a cat, come to neutral. Reach one arm out in front of you. Bend that elbow to the floor, bring the chest down. The glutes stay lifted. Slide it in and lift up. Take the other arm out to the front. Bring the chest down. Bring yourself up and bring it back in. Now, don't move your arms yet. I want you to sit back on your heels. Really tighten it. Uh, really pull that belly in and tighten it. Now, drop the elbows. Now, release it out. So now you're stretching the front of the body and the back of the body. All right, bring it back to tabletop. One leg is forward, and you bring yourself up to lift. Nice. We love lift. All right, so this is the easy part. Again, many of us may need a pad under our knees for this part of the exercise. Just get a towel or something or fold your mat. Put your arms out to the side. Stick the back foot into the floor. Bring your arms up as you come into your lunge. Good, hold it right there and lift. Now I'd like you to take it down and straighten the knee, knee out and get that nice long open stretch. Good. You're gonna bring the back knee back down. You're going to take yourself up into a lift and flex your front. You're gonna put your opposite arm on your hip and that arm over your ear, and you're gonna reach across. And then I want you to sweep around to that flex foot, lowering your chest to the center. Don't let your knee collapse until you can soften the foot. Three breaths right here. Keep lowering. Now move your chest onto that thigh. So it's going to be a little bit of a diagonal. You'll feel this greatly under the knee. Three breaths. Beautiful. And hold it right there. Drop those shoulders. Now you're going to put both hands inside. Slip that knee back into position. Remember what leg you're on. And bring yourself up into downward facing dog. Push through to the back. Same leg, take it out. Stretch it all the way out. Bend the knee. Turn the knee toward the screen. Extend the leg up. Curl the leg behind you so that you're opening your groin to the screen. Keep both arms long. Get a nice deep stretch right here. Good. Now extend the leg back there. Bring it back to center. Bring the knee into the chest. Good, and hold it right there. And then lower it back down into downward facing dog. Nice job. Good, now we go back to our tinkle talk. Take your hair out of your mouth. Okay, we're going back into our tabletop. We're going to take the leg forward. We're going to bring ourselves up, All right? As we sweep up, 
we're going to take it into a little lunge right here. Yay. And straighten out that lunge, bringing your chest down and nose to knee. Drop your shoulder blades, knee back down, leg in, bring your kneel uh, upward, flex the upper body. Good, bring yourself down to the middle right here. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Good. Feeling that deeply under that uh, knee. Then move your chest over to the to the, the leg that's extended. Get a little more of a diagonal, a little more stretch on the outside leg. Nice. Put your hands inside the leg. Replace that knee where it belongs and tabletop and push yourself up into downward facing dog. The leg comes back. The knee is bent. You take it out to the side. You extend it and then you bring it as far back as you can, keeping the arms even. Breathe into it. Nice, breathe into it. Nice. Bring it back to center, bend the knee, and then bring it forward and hold. Beautiful. And then bring it back to the floor and back to your downward facing dog. Now we're gonna start here. Our next sequence, we're gonna put that leg forward, rotate the back ankle, and bring ourselves up into warrior two. Nice. Now, my mat is floating by a little bit, so let me pull it together and I'll go back in. Sorry about that. Warrior two, hold it right there. Arms are even, head is over, tailbone, belly buttons to the spine. You got one leg long facing forward, the other leg bent facing the side of the mat, the front of the mat. Now, one thing about downward facing dog is it moves you in both directions. So you're open and yet you're strong. All right, so if you can, Bring your hand to the floor if you can't, go as far as you can or put a block under you. Look up to that other hand. Good. Breathe into it now. Push into the front leg as you bring yourself up. You're gonna slide your arm down the other leg and curl over to the side. Beautiful. Keep that lunge, it's easy to lose that lunge. Keep it in there. The knee over the ankle. Good. Now you're going to straighten that front leg this time, triangle, and then come back down again. There we go. Now this time look forward, not up at the arm. Beautiful. Now one of the things that happens is we might roll forward. So let's try to get our attention to the back. Push into that lunge again to bring yourself up and hold it right there. I want you to just put your hands on your hips right here. And then I want you to feel yourself descend without pushing into the knee. Just come down and down and down, if you can. Now, turn the foot forward, flat back forward. Nice and hold it right there. Walk the hands way out. Big wide leg tabletop right here. Beautiful. And then dive under. Reaching to the side of your mat behind you. And then put your hands on both the uh, ankles if you can reach them. And then shins. And then thighs. Flat back and then curl it up. Point the other foot forward and lunge into it. Keep that other leg. You got your foot forward, got your foot side, you got your arms out, and you're on down, um, warrior two on the other side. Nice job. A little bit to get that little straighter. There we go. There we go. 
Find your position and just as you need to, just like I did. So just as you need to. Good, take it down. This time we look up. Straighten that back leg, keep that front leg uh, solid. Pull yourself up and back. Remember, this is where we could potentially go forward. Make sure you're not straightening that leg out yet. Breathe into it, keep your position. Good. Now straighten the front leg and triangle. We look forward on this one. Nothing makes me happier than the Warriors. All right, not the basketball team. They're not making me very happy right now. Face both feet forward. Put the elbows onto the floor if you can. Nice. Now heel toe in until your hip width apart, not sit bone width apart, hip width apart. Put your hands on your shins and flatten your back. Nice. Drop your shoulder blades. You want to take a big inhale. Exhale, curl up through the belly as you bring yourself up. Okay, so now we're going to move to, I promised you movement positions at the top. So now we're going to move to movement positions at the top. First thing I'd like you to do, here we are at our hip width apart. I'd like you to lift one leg, drop it and lift the other. Lift and lift. Good. So what I'm trying to do is shake out all that tight warrior stuff. Now move the arms back and forth. So look, run some energy through that body. Eight more. And seven. We're trying to center ourselves as much as possible. Six. Last five. Four more. And three. And two, and one, lower those heels. You're gonna take the arms out to the side, right? Drop the shoulder blades and, and lower those knees. You're gonna take the arm up and across. So you're gonna reach out, up and across. Eight of these. Breathing, four, five, out. See how the bottom part of the body is anchored. Six, seven, and eight. Hold that out here. Bring the other one up, up and out. Move past that waist and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the arms down and float. Knees are soft and float. Good job. Now we have eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to bring the same movement to the front. So you're gonna feel less pulling across here and more opening in the back. Just eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and lower it down onto the hips. One side only, bringing hip to rib cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna combine the arms and the hips. One, side to side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now take those arms out, not all the way to the T, but we're in kind of a, a second position, we're in a, a big smile, and you're gonna take it across, 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 across. It's not a throw it, it's an extension. So right here at your hips. Good, we have about eight more sets and seven, our head goes with it. So don't keep your head in the middle. Six, you're swiveling the whole upper of the body. Five and four 
and three, and two, good job, and one, and the arms come to the side, the legs come in closer. So for the leg stretch, it's gonna be kind of like a rocket's kick. So you're gonna need a little bit of balance, and if you need to hold on to something, that's cool, because this is a stretch, it's not bar, all right? So it's gonna be up, extend, lift, extend. You can touch down if you need to. And four more after this. Four, good, three, extend, two, extend, and hold it here on one. Take it out to the side and hold it. Extend that toe out and bring it up. Take that toe out and bring it up and out and up, five more, and four, nice, and three, good, and two, and one. And back to center and lower it down. That's not Rockettes, that's can can actually. So <laughs> Rockettes is one long leg. Knee, extend, knee, extend them. Knee, extend, knee, extend, four more. Four, nice, and three, nice, and two, good, and one, take it to the side. Toe and knee, toe and knee, toe and knee, toe and knee, three, and two, and one. And last thing before we do the combination, open those legs, hands on the hips again, and upper body side to side. Good, we're gonna do a couple of things up here. So we're gonna open that body a lot. So if you're doing a lot of carrying today or stirring or pulling weeds, four more. And three, you're gonna be ready. And two, and one. Now I'd like you to create a circle around. Two, keep the upper, lower body still. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, pulling the belly button to the spine is so good when you're doing this. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna do chest out, close it, open and close. Open the shoulders, don't do anything, right? Just the chest and the back, squeezing the shoulder blades, opening the shoulders. Good, eight more, seven, six, last five. Four, so from lying down to standing up and being energetic, that's the idea today. And last one, now sweep the arms up, get on the toes, and we're gonna lift and lift and lift and lift. We're lifting first, four more, four and three and two and one. Then we're drawing down and down and down and down, eight and seven and six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one, and then sweep, and sweep, and sweep, and sweep. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come to the center, roll your shoulders back eight times, two, three, four, I always end like this, don't I? And forward, one, that was seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's breathe it up three times. So now you're ready for your day. So whenever you're like having a hard day getting out of bed, come to this exercise. Thank you everybody for coming stretch from lying down to standing up and going on our way. Good work.